So today I found I still have two 6600 XT GPUs. I thought I sold them all. I know I sold my um, Hellhound and I sold three of my Red Devils, which are really nice 6600 AMD cards. I kind of wish I would have kept one of those. But anyway, eBay took most of the fees and 14% of the sale. Yeah, anyway, they're gone. But I do have two 6600 XTs left. So I'm there looking at them going, what do I want to do with these cards? Do I want to sell them and just get a couple pennies on them and be gone with them or just hold on to them? So what do I do? Uh, first, what I said, oh, let's see what they're getting. If I mine them, you know, the, the pros are I make a couple pennies. The cons are I burn a lot of electricity and I generate heat and uh, generate more noise and just another maintenance headache, right? Because again, I've been through GPUs in the past couple of years. It was just it was just too much work for this for the for the rewards. Uh, once Ether Ethereum kind of went the proof of stake, it just I don't know. It just was too much hassle. I like CPU mining. It's clean. It's simple, and it makes a consistent amount of money. Uh, a little bit up and down, but anyway, let's go on. What do I do here? So I got the 6600s. What I do is uh, I've showed this site before, but this is a, this is a day to day use case of, well, I have hardware or I want to buy hardware or I found a good deal next door. My neighbor has this card. Well, first come back here and say, well, what can I make on that card right now? What do I mine? What algorithm do I mine? And can I get paid in Bitcoin? Uh, the reason I say Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is keep going up. It goes down, but it goes up. In bigger swings in Litecoin and um, that other one, uh, Ethereum. I dumped my Litecoin, I swapped it for Bitcoin. I dumped my Ethereum, I swapped it for Bitcoin. So what do you do? I come in here, this is whattomine.com. We are currently at Bitcoin 48,337. And uh, you come in here, basically it's telling you, if you have this hardware, which algorithm is best to mine at what profit, profitability and what power consumption will you expect to be using? So all you do is come in here, pick your card. In my case, oh, what do I got? A 6600 XT, we'll just do one, even though I got a couple. And I have some other cards too, but I'm debating whether to hook up the machine just for a video or not, just to show you. Because right now I gutted my old machine. It'd be, it'd be a neat little exercise to see if I remember how to get everything back up and running with uh, six GPUs off an old ASRock motherboard and see if I can mine something, right? That'd be, that'd be a nice video, it'd be a long video because it's not just the hardware, you gotta configure the miners and you gotta configure the GPUs for the algorithm, etc. All right, let's go, let's do one. See, I hit a one right there. Just click outside of it. Uh, you can click on it right here. Let's see, why is it, all right. Insert hash rates and powers for a number of Radeon Radeon RX 6600 XTs using fast timings with 0.7 and 0.9 volts. So I selected my GPU and what I do, I come down here. I already put in my cost, electric, uh, electricity cost. This is like the uh, honor system. Just be honest, put in the cost. You got to pay it. They're going to bill you. If you don't pay your electricity, guess what? We're going to turn your power off. So put that in there. Uh, let's see, you can put the exchanges in, whatever. Those are defaulted entry, you can put the profitability in, you can put the volume, you can put the average for revenue. But uh, I just leave it as is, I come in here, GPU, uh, 6600 XT, boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see, come over here, hit calculate, boom. Let's see what happens, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's done spinning. You can come down here and see which ones are, uh, which coins, which algorithm it recommends based on the uh, power usage right here, the watts. And then this is the hash rate you should get. All right. Some of these are new to me. There's Kapow. It seems Kapow is 16 megahertz a second. Wow, 110 watts. Woo, that's gonna get hot. That's a lot of power. All right, well, let's go down. Using the below table, you can check how profitable it is to mine selected altcoins in comparison to Ethereum Classic. Please note that calculations are based on mean values. Therefore, your final results may vary. Yeah, yeah, we get it. 
That makes sense. But you got to explain it to people sometimes. Uh, for the best results, fill in all fields with your hash rate and power consumption. Default values are adapted uh, for the 3370 cards. All right. Yeah, some are defaulted in there, but whatever. Let's go down here. Based on my 6600 XT and my power consumption, these are the profitability guys right here. Wow, look at that. It took it after profit. So look at this one, Kapow. Coming across here, there's your uh, difficulty net hash. Shows your block rewards, estimated rewards, exchange rate. Wow, 2.8%. Woo. All right. Eh, I guess that's about right. Market cap volume, 6.62 Bitcoin. Uh, then we got your, what you're going to make on that card, 33 cents mining Kapow. And after I pay my electricity, it's going to be four cents is what I get taxed on. <laughs> then after the government takes all that, uh, I have nothing. <laughs> so let's go up. I want to show you something. So it's 33 and four cents, right? Let's just play with this 33 and 4 cents. Boom, 33 calculate. Yeah. So this uh right here, see my little circle of truth. Without electricity, it's gonna be 33, 33. So it is profit, and then the second row is uh your net after you pay electricity. So I put zero in. So you do want to put the electricity in just to be fair and realistic about what you're going to be getting with this guy. Boom, boom, 11 cents. Calculate, and should go back to 33.11, or 33.4 cents, yep. So we got 33 is the most profitable. After electricity is 4 cents. Next one is, again, it's Kapow. And then Kapow, it's all Kapow with the different coins. Look at that. It's all the algorithm Kapow, man. It likes Kapow on that card. Look at that. So each coin can give you different profitability in the same algorithm. Oh, we got nice hash Kapow. Roughly the same. So I could actually hook up. Uh, let's see. I could put a GPU on one of my CPU rigs and uh, point it at nice hash as well. Let the nice hash miner do its uh, benchmarking and then uh, let it mine as well. But 30 cents on a power eating GPU generating heat and noise, I'm going to pass. So by doing this exercise, it, it just showed me that, well, I'm not going to really turn these back on. I will hold on to the cards, but right now it does not make sense to use these specific cards to, um, to GPU mine. Other cards may be more profitable right now. About 30 70s and up the newer cards if you want to spend all that money but here we got kapow kapow let's go through some more i'm just curious as you scroll down the profitability drops and you start losing money look i'll be in the hole two pennies three pennies so there's kapow again five, and that's raven coin remember that thing was supposed to go to the moon everything was supposed to go to the moon and nothing ever goes to the moon bitcoin might go to the moon <laughs> but it might not do anything and it might stay where it's at, or it could go to zero, right? Isn't that the way it always works? You just don't know. That's why it's speculation, speculative uh, investing. Uh, but it, my, my whole thing is it's a hobby. If you believe in it, if you believe in the project, the concept of decentralization of your money, controlling your money, then you know, Bitcoin's where it's at, right? It's digital gold. Why else did these big boys hop on board with allowing you to purchase Bitcoin through their brokerages, and also ETFs. Why? Because they see a value in it. All right, we got Sky Dodge, Sky Doge, I never heard of that. Cortex, Firepal, Zellhash, Kapow, Blake, Ironfish, Crypto Knight GPU, it's a lot of Kapow, Zhash. So again, you're losing money here. 18 cents, 18 cents, 17 cents. Uh, vert hash, Z hash. Look at all these things out there. My lordy, look at that. ETH hash, Doge, Ether, Do, Do, Gather, Together, Dog, Ether, Dog, Ether. <laughs> look at all these things, man. This is just crazy. Oh, my lord. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is just GPU stuff. So you can learn a lot if you're kind of interested in this mining domain, this uh, world, this ecosystem. And you have hardware or you want to buy hardware, you can go over here to what to mine and figure out what it's going to work, what, what you could actually get mining it. Yeah, GPU, ASICs. They don't really do CPUs on this site. That is, um, that is uh, unique to NiceHash's profitability calculator. If you go there, you can do the same thing as this. Put in the GPU, put in your hardware, put in your CPU, and just see what the profitability is on that. Um, I wonder if I have that up here. Hold on a sec. Yeah. So this is the nice hash profitability calculator. I want to do a re I'm just going to calculate. It should be a lot higher than 46 cents. I don't know how long it's been since I reloaded this page. Um, ooh, went up 60 cents. And this might be even better news than you realize after electricity. You always got to put your electricity costs in just to be realistic, to give you a warm fuzzy about what you're really going to, you know, take home or the profits of this thing. Uh, yeah, if you don't know what your electricity is, go to your electric bill, your uh, statement, and there's a line item on your actual bill that says kilowatt per hour, what you're paying with all the other crap on top of it. So it should come out, start at, say, 9 cents and end up at 15 cents or whatever. All the other stuff they throw in there. You know what I mean? So we're at 60, not bad. Really, it's 88 cents if you don't take into electricity. 28 cents a day in electricity cost. Profit, 60 cents a day. Not bad. Better than a GPU burning almost twice as much power and generating a lot of heat and noise. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being realistic. I just don't, I don't know. I'm so done with the GPU world. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's see. Share this calculation. Nah, you guys can figure it out. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Average profitability for selected time range, one month. All right. Kind of gives you a nice little charts here of where it's been on profitability one month. And yeah, we're still below what it's been. So we're 11 Feb February. It was actually, yep, yeah, it was up the other night because it was cranking a bit more than usual. Uh, let's see, 94 USD, 86. What was the heyday here? 104 buck, four USD in 24 hour period. And of course, back in November, I can't go back that far. It was uh, it was rocking. It was uh, it was pretty high. I think it was like two bucks. All right, mining hash rate for each algorithm. Crypto Knight, Random X, boom, boom, boom. Wow, 105 watts. Interesting. I don't think I'm burn. I think mm, I think my CPU is burning 85, 90 watts. So that might be right with the motherboard and all the other stuff thrown in there. It might be about 105. Latest news. All right, enough of that crap. Uh, there you go, guys. That's what I'm doing. When I see old hardware, I go through the little thought exercise of, well, do I want to take time and list this on eBay and get a couple bucks and uh, deal with the shipping and maybe getting scammed by a buyer and you know eBay taking a lot of fees off the top? Or do I put this GPU uh, to use and make it mine? And if so, how much will I make? And then I go to the uh, what to mine and I figure out, oh, eh, it's just not worth it. <laughs> All right. And that's, uh, that's how I do it. That's pretty, pretty much it. So I'm not going to do anything. I might just to be smart, instead of letting these lay out on a rack, I'm going to put them in a box just to protect them because the stupid fan blades will break if you don't handle them right. And then once you do that, it just becomes, oh, where do I get the replacement fan that fits this one? And it becomes a whole exercise to actually take off the covers and replace the fan it's it's you can do it but it's just do you really want to do it you know you want to spend an hour messing with it i don't done that been there done that right anyway in the uh follow-up to this segment i'll show you the two cars just for fun it's always good to look at hardware you know, like looking at cars and other good stuff it's pretty neat i like looking at hardware it's kind of neat it's kind of neat messing with it yep there we are go forth watch Watch Bitcoin, man. We're getting up to the halvening in April. Think tax time. Around tax time, we'll see what this Bitcoin halving is going to do. Halvening, halving. I can never say anything right. But uh, I don't know. It's going to affect miners because miner profits get cut and they have to re-strategize how they're going to do their mining. Uh, yeah, we'll see what it does to the price of Bitcoin as well. Yep, that's it, man. Go forth. Go forth. Do something. Do great things. All right. All right and as promised, here are the two... 
remaining 6600 XTs I have. Man, I sold a bunch of these things. These are kind of the basic ones. Look at that. Two fanner. No fancy LEDs on this one. No backing protective plate. And uh, the sticky's starting to come off. Oh, well. I don't even know what brand this is. I'm looking. I'm looking. Do you guys see it? I do not see it. Um, it's, it's just small print somewhere. I don't see it. It's got the original. Did not take this thing apart. Unlike the 3080 Ti's I had, I was constantly taking those damn things apart, putting on thermal paste, adding copper to cool those things down, and in the end, copper worked. Copper is king. That's why everyone's kind of taking copper over and getting reselling it. All right, here we got the fans. A little dusty. No real dust bunnies in here. It's a Radeon 6600 XT power cooler. This one doesn't light up, though. It's just your basic GPU. And what I learned about all these devices, you get the fancy Red Devil, the Hellhounds with all the fancy lights in that, and then you just get the basic one, 6600 XT. It's almost the same card, and uh, the hash rates were the same. Go figure. I mean, the other one gave nice lights and ooh, ah, bells and whistles. And uh, in the end, these little cards, which probably cost a lot less, probably a few bucks less than the uh, Red Devils and the Hellhounds, uh, they just produced as much hash rate mining ethereum and whatever at the time so yeah go figure it's like cars man just give me a car that runs like the new toyota truck they want to come out with this is like ten thousand bucks it's just gets you from a to b and that's all i really care about tired of the bells and whistles been through all that with the fancy cars not doing that again oh what is this one this is a pulse i can't see it. there's too much dust on it i gotta put these in a box and clean them Sapphire Pulse. This is a Sapphire Radeon. There we go. Radeon Sapphire Pulse card. One power. I like that there's one. Man, those 3080 Ti's I had had uh, three power connectors, you know? You had to basically just wire these things and buy some high quality stuff like this. These are shielded cables, which is what you want. Do not buy stuff off Amazon because it sometimes you get a crappy batch of those yellow black wires and I don't know. I've just had trouble with them. I got these, these are good ones from gpurisers.com. I have no idea if they're still in business or not, but uh, yeah. Oh, that's the, here we go. Male to female. It identifies as a male and this identifies as a female. So there we go. Look at that. And together they are power. All right. Same thing. Did not even touch the, uh, they never, never had to take 6600s apart. They ran cool. They worked. They did, as, they did, they did what they should do. They mined and they did well uh, on the ether mine and stuff like that. Uh, what else? And same thing with this one over here. Where are we at? Yep. Just one little power connector. That's all you need. I like it. Simple. And for the old display ports, all I cared about was that guy, HDMI. I did not use the other ones. Uh, let's see. This one at least has a backing plate. Here's the difference. Do you really need it? It's like a little heat shield, sort of. This one, you just got to worry you don't damage anything. That's the problem, and you short something out. But I never did. I had it in a nice wood rack, GPU rack, protected. Never had any issues with any shorts on that. Uh, let's see. A little QR code over here. What the heck is that for? Uh, do -do -do. Let's see. This one doesn't have it. I mean, yeah, you pay. There's different packaging the way things look you want all this fancy stuff here we go radeon size difference look at that i mean it's 30 percent smaller same card 66 6600xd produced the same hash rate and there you go i mean just give me the simple stuff that works that's the secret to mining get the simple stuff without all the bells and whistles that produces the same hash rate whether it's a cpu or a gpu and get some good cables all right, hope this helps. Not, not, not sure what else to do with these things. I'm going to put them in a box and uh, keep them safe. For the, uh, the, what do you call this thing? Time, time treasures when people can find these in 100 years ago. Oh, look, he had old GPUs. <laughs> no. All right, go forth. Do great things. I'm out of here. Boom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right next to the Borg rack. Dun, 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 dun. The Borg rack. It looks better at night. 
And I can actually go in and change those uh, Ryzen Prism Cooler colors to do fancy stuff. Fancy little random colors and pulsate, whatever. Kind of like this guy. He's kind of doing it. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Ha! Woo! It's kind of a nice, nice little soothing thing as you're stacking Bitcoin on NiceHash. And this one's up there to the 3950. The thing there, whoops, I'm gonna drop the phone. The thing there that makes color is the actual motherboard that's making that fancy little color at the bottom. The uh, actual intake outtake fan system isn't doing much. There's no lights on that. And I got my net cat cable blinking. Look at that, color is fancy stuff, woo. All right, fun with hardware. On a, a Saturday? On a Sunday. Hope that was fun. All right, go forth, have fun with this stuff. I am.